Hi, this has been The Librarian, and I'm here to talk to you about how to build a search online. So let's get started. Everyone knows how to get search results online by using Google or another search engine. But are these the right results? Before you begin, ask yourself some questions. What is your goal? What are you looking for? Finding the right keywords can take some time. Let's say I'm writing a paper about vaccines. If I just Google the word vaccines, I get hundreds of thousands of hits. That is not helpful, so I need to focus my subject. Grab a sheet of paper and draw a circle with the word vaccines in the center. What are some other words that come to mind when I say the word vaccine? Mm, to me, let's go with disease, school, autism, measles, uh, history, and public health. Six. That's a good number to start with. Now draw a circle around each of those. Okay, so this is what's called an idea web or an idea map. And it's a great tool to lay out your research terms. Now I have some keywords that I can start searching for and a way to focus my paper. Take these words and throw them into a search engine and see what happens. This is a great way to take your ideas for a paper and narrow them down to something that you can research quickly. Now let's talk about how to combine words into what we call a Boolean search. First off, where does this name come from? The Boolean search is named after George Boole, who was a British mathematician. His logic laid the groundwork for the digital revolution. The idea is to use ones and zeros, yes or no, on and off, in everything from cell phones to your laptop. Yeah, that's his idea. There are a ton of Boolean search strategies you can use. In library searches, though, there are three main Boolean operators, that's what we call words, that you might find helpful. And, or, and not. And is something that we use when we want to combine two of the keywords you already generated from above. If you're writing a paper about Barack Obama's policies on health care, you would type Obama and, in capital letters, healthcare. That way, you're not just getting results about Barack Obama and not just getting results about all healthcare, but instead getting articles that have both. Or is what we use when we have a search term that goes by more than one name. A great example of this are place names. Take Myanmar and Burma, for example. Both have referred to the same area, but at different times in history. You don't want to lose the perfect example for your paper because you used one and not the other. So you can type Burma, capital O-R, Myanmar, when searching for results. Finally, not is used when you want to exclude something. If you're writing an article about service animals that are not dogs, you would use service animals, capital N-O-T, dogs. As you can see here, none of these results have the word dog in the headline. That doesn't mean that the article might not include the word dog, though, so you need to read your results carefully. I hope you find this helpful.